Hello, Cancer. This is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason you're having a hard time accessing that website, um, feel free to email me at allfor1.1forall74 at gmail. All right, guys, what's been going on for Cancer in the recent past? Please show me what's been going on for Cancer in the recent past. Three of Cups. Hmm. I think a lot of you just, you're getting over something. And um, for some of you, this is about reconnecting with someone in particular, um, maybe the individual that we're also uh, pulling cards for. But this may be dating, getting back out there, um, just trying to feel good again for some of you, okay, after a relationship. What's been going on for them in the recent past? Mm -hmm. Having a hard time shuffling their deck. Let's see. Queen of Swords. I'm getting this person, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. I'm feeling some anger coming from this individual. There's something that they want to know. There's definitely something they're wanting to know. They feel scorned to whoever this is. Okay. What's keeping cancer from them? What's keeping cancer from them? Seven of Wands. I'm thinking that you're trying to defend your peace. Okay. Maybe there was a lot of turmoil um, in a situation with this individual. Maybe you, you know, extended yourself too much here with them. So now it's like, mm, not doing that anymore. Okay. You're standing your ground is what I'm seeing here. Leo, energy there. There's something that you're feeling like you need to defend yourself for. Hmm. From them. What's keeping this person from cancer? The magician. I'm feeling like this is all ego with them. Um, I'm feeling like this person is a know-it-all, okay? And what I'm getting here is what's actually keeping them from you is them, okay? It's their behavior because this person has all of the tools to manipulate at their whim, okay? Um, if they wanted to make things right, I feel like they know how to make things right. They're choosing not to. I'm, I'm feeling like anger issues here. I'm feeling like um, manipulation. Okay. I'm strongly getting that this person time and time again has overstepped your boundaries. Um, and they feel, they feel like you're oblivious to some of the things that they've been doing. But what I'm getting here is that you weren't. You were just trying to work things out, make things, um, just make things work. And you probably took a lot of shit from them. You know, Gemini energy there. What's currently going on for cancer here? Three of swords. Feeling broken hearted. Um, I'm strongly getting that there is like a three party situation that has caused some grief 
some disappointment. Um, there's a lack of communication here, a lack of positive communication. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm feeling like you guys are just trying to get to a point where um, you're happy, you're content. And you're kind of blocking things out that don't jive with that, including this individual, because I, I'm getting that um, they were the source of a lot of, you know, the heartache and um, the sadness that you guys have endured and felt. So somebody here, um, I, I'm feeling, had somebody else involved, whether it was a family member, whether it was a kid, it was something that was going on that I feel like really was a straw that broke the camel's back here. Okay. What's currently going on for them? Having to make a choice. They're trying to, they're trying to decide, I feel, between doing whatever they're doing right now and you guys, because again, they're showing up here as a magician, could very well be a Gemini individual that you guys are dealing with. Um, but I'm getting like very, you know, manipulative energy here from this individual. But they're currently trying to decide what to do with you guys here. Because they know what to do to make this right. It's just whether or not they do it. Okay. Hmm. What's influencing cancer? What's influencing cancer right now? Ace of Wands wanting to start over. I'm getting that you just want to leave this behind. You're wanting to move on. You're wanting change in your life. Something new, something different, something that speaks to your heart, speaks to your soul. You're just wanting to start over. Okay, something brand new is what I'm getting here. What's influencing the other person here? It's influencing them. Ten of Swords. I forget who else got this. And I want to say it was Sagittarius. Other person, their person got this. But they have the... they. Let me rephrase that because I'm, I'm getting a little irritated with this energy because it's like something, something is not right here. Um, they feel stabbed in the back. And what, what I'm feeling strongly is they feel stabbed in the back and betrayed because you decided to remove yourself from this situation that you just were not having um, whatever foolishness was going on here with this individual. You put a stop to it. You put an end to it. Like, no more. And in doing that, it like kind of shook them up because they thought for sure that they had it in the bag that their manipulation tactics actually worked. So they actually um, feeling like the ultimate betrayal from you. So there's something that they've been trying to figure out about you guys. But what I'm getting with the Sin of Source is they're coming out of that energy. Um, there's something that's shifting and changing in them as well. But they're definitely wanting to know the truth. They're wanting to know something about you guys. And I'm thinking that they feel like you guys are currently dating. Some of you may be with the Three of Cups being there now, but nevertheless, this person hurt you, okay? I don't know if you had them involved in a three-party relationship. Maybe they feel like you did just because you're dating now, feeling like, oh, well, they must have been doing this while we were together, that sort of thing. What's coming in for Cancer here? Your destiny, healing. Finding your way. 
Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Primarily is here for a lot of you guys. Your destiny. But what I'm getting here is this person. This person feels a very strong sexual attraction towards you. Go ahead and pull the other card for what's coming in for them. Because I'm getting the same person that hurt you is the one that's coming in for you. Okay. What's coming in for them? Four of Swords. They were hurt here too. Like I said, they feel betrayed by you. Um, and I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Nonetheless, you know, this energy is reversed and they're feeling like you guys were actually the one that had them um, involved in something like you were seeing someone else while you were with them. Um, but, you know, they're getting over it. Whatever happened. I don't know if both of you guys, you know, were doing your own separate things or what have you during the course of the relationship, but they definitely feel betrayed. But what's coming in for them is actually the four of swords just taking some time out to reflect and um, try to get their thoughts together to see how, you know, they want to maneuver. Okay. So both of you are sharing this, this hurt. That's sleeper energy there. A lot of air here. Okay. What's the advice for cancer? Queen of Wands. I don't know because this is the Queen of Wands is an initiator. The Queen of Wands is very intuitive. Um, she's passionate about the people in her life. Um, the things that she does. She takes care of everyone. Okay. I'm getting that there's something that you should take action on. Okay. So with that being said, but I'm getting like a lot of manipulation, like mental, psychological manipulation that this person um, exhibits here. But they could just be doing a lot of thinking as well. Okay. Um, again, this can go vice versa. I'm just reading the energy. I'm looking at the energy. But there's this person's doing a lot of thinking. Um, there are no cups here. There are no wands here. So it's like, oh my gosh, all they're doing is thinking, planning, um, blaming is what I'm getting here. Hang on one second, guys. Yeah, I'm getting that they, they shift the blame. They shift the responsibility a lot. Um, I don't get that they are really taking responsibility for anything that they have done. Okay. And you both may have done things to hurt each other, but I feel healing coming in for both of you. Actually. But I'm getting that this person, the power is in their hands to actually um, make something happen here. But what I'm getting to is that it has to be like um, mutual. Because I'm strongly getting that they they have they're involved with someone here. And I, I'm feeling like they're involved with someone because they feel like you guys are involved with someone. But I do see them taking a time out from that, taking some time to really kind of um, recoup and regroup with the four of swords. It's like. Removing yourself, you're on reserve. You're not doing anything. Um, just trying to get yourself together to 
to see how you want to move. Okay. But for you, the advice is a queen of wands. So I'm getting, this is to get your confidence back. If your confidence was shot by psychological abuse, this is for you to work on yourself, to care for yourself. Okay. To have that new start by yourself working on yourself, doing the things that you like, doing the things that make you happy. To show interest in the things that you like to do outside of this individual. They're not doing much, but thinking. And boy, are they thinking. What advice do we have for them? King of Swords. What I'm getting from this is whoever whoever you're dealing with, both of you are coming here with a feminine energy. Okay. Because they come out as a queen of swords here in how they've been. But what they the advice for them is the king of swords. So what I'm getting is that a lot of times this person is probably um, they lose control. They are, they say a lot of things that they don't necessarily mean in the heat of the moment. And so what I'm getting is they need to get their thoughts together. They need to be more controlled. They need to exhibit more of their masculine energy, more of their caring, um, supportive energy. Okay. This person may also need some counseling. Okay. They may need some counseling. They have too much thinking going on. What's the outcome for cancer? Seven of Cups. I'm feeling like you guys will have options, but before you can get to where you can see things clearly and really decide what you want and what you want to do, the Scorpio energy, um, you have to be clear like of the options that you actually do have and 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 truly be clear not <laughs> what is the word not be off in la la land not not think of things that are unreasonable or unjust they have to be like logical things that you can't accomplish Okay, that you can have. So I do see, you know, options opening up for you guys. Like, but I think first and foremost, the, your confidence needs to be built. Your self worth needs to be worked on. Okay, loving yourself, healing from whatever you have dealt with um, with this individual. What's the outcome for them? And they have the Seven of Cups. Not really knowing what to do. Not knowing how to feel. This is the only Cups card they have. A lot of emotional confusion. This person, I feel, needs to figure out exactly what they feel for you how they feel in general because I'm getting that they block themselves from feeling they don't like it they don't like to show emotion they feel very very uncomfortable you have three sevens here that's a heavenly number seven 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 I'm feeling strongly, like I said, that the person that is, this person is possibly meant to be your life partner. But I feel like karma, I feel like certain cycles and situations, you know, shape who we are. And so there's something I feel like they've probably been through in their life 
that has affected them in a negative way. So by the time they, they, you know, come to you, then there's all this baggage that they have that has not been cleared. So, yeah, there's definitely something you guys have to work through. Um, both of you, your outcome is a seven of cups. You're feeling the same way. Hmm. Let me pull a romance angels card for you guys. They may have Scorpio in their chart and you as well. Let's see what the romance angels has. Two cards flew out there. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Most definitely. Most definitely. I feel that. My body, I'm tingling all over. There's just some things that need to be worked out here. And then we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I feel you guys definitely need to talk. Definitely need to talk. Um, but I think they need to be clear on how they feel first. And they need to address that. They need to be open with that. Okay. So, again, we have Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius energies here. Um, Gemini is very, very strong. Maybe Libra. Okay, guys. So, that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon.